Da -da 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 -da. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I decided to do some Red Dead Redemption 2 inspired nail art. It's been a while since I've done any gamer themed nails on my channel, and since this is one of my favorite games ever, I decided to, yeah, do some nail art dedicated to it. Yeah, and then just in case you were wondering, yes, this is actually the catalog that is used in the game. I got this on a little loot box thing I bought at GameStop. Look, it actually has the stuff that you can buy in the game. Yeah, anyways, if you would like to know how I did this nail art, which, by the way, is completely free-handed, just, um, yeah, keep on watching. <laughs> Starting off, I painted two nails white, two red, and one nail completely black to mimic Arthur's lungs. And speaking of Arthur, who has to be Rockstar's best character, I'm going to be painting on him on my thumbnail. Oh, there's not really an easy way to do this nail design, figuring how it's so tiny and I'm trying to do Rockstar's artwork on this little nail. Oh well, I'll do my best to explain, but three-fourths of the nail, I painted it with a red nail polish. White was placed there initially, so it would make the red color pop a little bit. Towards the remaining one-fourth, or that little white section of the nail, I'm just going to paint it in with some black nail polish. Nail polish takes forever to dry, but while the black is still, you know, on those drying stages, I'm gonna go ahead and paint on like a, I guess you could say kind of like a sunset with some yellow acrylic paint on the red portion of my nail. As you can see, I went ahead and added the yellow, and while that's drying, I'm not gonna go in and work on the stars. Despite my freehand skills, I completely flop when it comes to making stars. To make life easier, I'm just gonna take three stars out of this nail polish here and place it on the black portion of my nail like so. I'm gonna let that clear nail polish dry, that's what's securing the stars onto my nail. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna go in with some red acrylic paint and paint on some trees in the sunset. Also using that same acrylic paint, I'm just gonna go over the stars. Now for the fun part. So I'm just gonna go in different shades with acrylic paint, first starting off with black. I'm gonna do my very best to sketch on Arthur Morgan. I am just looking at the reference photo of the cover art for Red Dead Redemption 2 and doing my very best with a toothpick, safety pin, and a dotting tool to paint on Arthur. This Rockstar's artwork is really hard, and since I am working with a nail design, it doesn't really look like Arthur. Oh well, I tried, but here's the completed thumbnail design. Now moving on to another nail design, which is almost as difficult, but not really. I'm going to be doing a gradient, so using a makeup wedge, I'm just going to go in with some red and orange acrylic paint. Of course, for some yellow to represent the snake oil tonics. Here, I'm using a nail that has a white base to help the gradient stand out more. But as you can see, I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab it all over the nail. Because I used acrylic paint, it's not very opaque with the first dabbing, so I'm gonna let this layer dry and then go in and dab another layer. Badoom! So here it is. What? I'm actually surprised this gradient looks good. Usually they suck. Anyways, ignoring this little bottom portion for now, I'm just gonna paint on a little rectangle right here on this portion of the nail. Boop. 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 And now we connect. And now we fill in. And while that black rectangle is currently drying, I'm still going to go in with some more black acrylic paint. I'm just going to paint on a landscape, filling in that white with the black acrylic paint. Yeah, you want to be sure that this area is completely dry, but in the meantime, I'm just going to go in and paint on a couple of trees. Also decided to go in and just paint on, like, I guess you could say, like, the corner of the mountain. Okay, so by now, the rectangle has completely dried. Now I'm going to go in with some white acrylic paint, my safety pen, and I'm going to paint on Red Dead Redemption 2. I made the rectangle a little too big, so I just went in and fixed it with some orange acrylic paint. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the title off camera. Just paint RDR2 if this is too difficult, but here's the finished nail design. Now, I'm not gonna lie, after all that freehanding, my hands were cramping. So for the rest of the designs, I'm just gonna put on some nail charms. If you would like to know where I got this pistol, as well as the two horseshoe nail charms, I'll have a link down in the description box below. As for two nail designs that are painted on red, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a just a regular shiny top coat. Towards using some of my scissor tweezers, I'm just gonna pick up the nail charms and just place it where I want it on the nail. Yeah, that pretty much completes it for those two nail designs. Yeah, and uh, for the last nail design, I lied, I actually am going to freehand one more nail design. The Lay Blackwater nail. And once again, just going to take one of the little stars from that nail polish and just place it right there. 
Now I'm going to go in with some red acrylic paint. I'm just going to paint on a big letter R for Rockstar. Well, this did not film, but I went in with black acrylic paint and just filled in the little star. But yeah, so anyways, here's the completed nail design. Guys, that completes it for all the nail designs. And for a little change, I decided to keep it with a shiny top coat. Got my cigarette cards. Yes, guys, so here are my finished Red Dead Redemption 2 inspired nails. Like I said before, I haven't done gamer nails on my channel for a while, and I had lots of fun painting on this nail art, even though it was really difficult. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the nail art today. Let me know down in the comments what other nail art you would like for me to do on my channel. And yeah, as always, Thanks for watching!